Hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation. Today we'll be discussing the Airbus A350-1000. But before we begin, I'd like to welcome everyone to 2018. However, I still do know we have a few countries waiting to hit the midnight. I'd still like to take the opportunity now to say Happy New Year to you all. I hope it's a safe and a good one. In today's video, I will essentially be going in depth about the up and coming Airbus A350-1000, as you can tell by the title and as I just mentioned it a bit earlier. Essentially, the format to the video will be similar to my Boeing 777X video and more. I hope you all enjoy. We shall begin the proceedings with a little chat about the Airbus A350-1000. If you were unaware, the A350-1000 is in fact the largest variant of the A350 family and is set to seat some 366 passengers in a typical three-class layout. However, this can be altered depending on a specific airline's configuration. The A350-1000 has a range of 14,800 kilometers, which in my eyes is fantastic for an aircraft of its length. This A350 is set to replace the aging A340 and compete with Boeing's new 777X. We will discuss the competition a bit later on in the video, however. Airbus have spent years tirelessly working on this A350-1000 to perfect it, and now just days before Qatar received the first one, Airbus claimed that it'll have a 15% lower trip cost and a 7% lower seat cost than the new Boeing 7779 coming out in the next few years. This A350-1000 is 74 meters long, and is, just a and is just a 7 meter extension from the A350-900. However, with that added length of the Dash 1000 variant, this airplane will seat an extra 40 passengers, which is perfect for heavily populated routes. At this stage, the A350 has accumulated some 169 orders, and while that figure seems high, I'm sure Airbus would be looking to have a lot more orders for this aircraft as the time goes on. To name some of the airlines that have the Dash 1000 on order include Asiana, British Airways, Etihad, LATAM, Virgin Atlantic, Qatar, Japan Airlines, Cathay Pacific and a few more. It's certainly a star-studded lineup of airlines that have placed orders for the Dash 1000, meaning that we could certainly see more high-profile airlines order it in the near future. Now we're going to move on to the competition that the A350-1000 will face. Of course, there are going to be some people who don't like this aircraft simply because it's Airbus and others because they don't like the look. However, as I try to keep as neutral as possible in these specific videos, we will discuss both sides to the argument. So the A350-1000, as previously mentioned, is set to compete with the 777 mainly. However, it is also competing with the classic 777 at this stage. Something that is quite interesting is the fact currently the 777 actually doesn't need to be retired just yet, with many airlines still having years left in them and some decades. So that would mean that airlines are probably not looking for a replacement just yet. With the A350-1000 launching this year with Qatar and the 777X possibly next year, airlines may be more inclined to opt for the newer 777X. However, once again, it's down to the airline's choice. As we mentioned before, the A350-1000 has a lower trip cost and seat cost than its competitor, which may also steer airlines towards it. One of the big things that I think will help an airline opt for either the Boeing 777X or A350-1000 is purely down to their current fleet. In recent times, we have seen more and more airlines remain loyal to a particular manufacturer, especially when it comes to a long-haul fleet. For example, Air New Zealand currently operate the 787-9, 777-300ER, and 777-200ER on long-haul routes, and these are the aircraft that they see taking them forward with a possible replacement of the 777-200ER eventually. I'd certainly be shocked if they went for the A350-1000 as a replacement for these aircraft over, let's say, another Boeing aircraft, and this is also the case with Qantas. I do definitely see them ordering the 777X in the future, mainly because they've placed their future in the hands of Boeing with the 7879 aircraft. Either way, I think the Dash 1000 will be a success for Airbus, but I'm unsure at this stage whether it will be to the extent of the new 777X. Feel free to leave me your thoughts on the aircraft and the future of it in the comment section below. Also, stay tuned for a new video which will be coming out around an hour and a half after this video goes live. It will be an aviation music video celebrating the channel hitting 9,000 subscribers. I'd just like to thank you all very much for the support. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in an hour and a half. Peace.